In this video, I explain how I treat ticks, fleas and mites on my three cats. I have been walking my cats for over 12 years. Just under 11 years, there were only two cats. And now for almost two years, there are three cats. I don't use any chemical stuff, neither as a prevention nor in case of an infestation, because all that stuff can have side effects, partially so strong that it can make cats really sick. If you pay attention to some rules, Chemical stuff is not necessary at all. Treatment of ticks. I don't use any stuff as a prevention against ticks, so also no natural things like oils or so, because it is simply not necessary for my adventure cats. When I walk my cats, I always keep an eye on them anyway. And if I see a tick crawling around on them, I just flick it away. When we are at home and I find a tick that's stuck to the skin, I usually use a simple pair of eyebrow tweezers to remove it. I place the tweezers close to the head of the tick and slowly rotate it in one direction until it falls out on its own. With this method, I always had 100% success and the head of the tick never stayed stuck in the skin. For this method, however, a cat must be patient or already be used to staying still for a while. You can train this with food, and if necessary, you can use food during the tick removal as well. Sometimes I also use another method, which is faster, but the chances of success are lower. I place the tweezers close to the head of the tick, and then pull very slowly. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Meaning, sometimes the head of the tick rips off and stays stuck. I use this method on untrained cats, or on difficult body parts. For example, my Burmese cat had a tick right above his eye, and it was clear that if I fiddled around too long, he wouldn't keep still. So I pulled the tick out slowly, and it worked. Seldom I also use a tick twister, if the tick drank already some blood or is larger. Mostly I have to do with baby ticks that have bitten down recently, and in my experience, simple tweezers work best for them. When walking a cat, you can often avoid ticks by staying on the path or training your cat not to leave the path, so that it doesn't crawl into every bush or walk through high grass. Also, you should be careful when your cat climbs on fallen trees. Ticks like to sit there. In my experience, ticks are more likely to be found on naturally fallen trees, so where everything is all over the place and off the path. I never found ticks on fallen trees, which have been neatly stacked somewhere by workers. Now I will give you some numbers on how many ticks my cats collected over the years. During walks, meaning when I flick the ticks away, I would have to take a guess. I would say that I flick away about 30 to 40 ticks per year. Ticks that are already stuck to the skin are very rare. Last year there were only 3 to 4 ticks stuck on a total of 3 cats. Some years there were no ticks stuck at all. That's why I don't see any need to apply any chemical stuff on my cats. You just have to be attentive while walking, follow some rules, and then you will have seldom any problems. Treatment of fleas. I don't use any prevention stuff with fleas either, because it is not necessary. While walking my cats for over 12 years, there was only two times a flea problem. Fleas can be avoided very well by simply following some rules. Number one, in city and village areas the risk of fleas is high. They come from all the outdoor cats and dogs running around. This also includes parks, football fields and similar. In nature, meaning forests, wild meadows, beaches or similar, is the risk of catching fleas almost zero. My cats have caught their fleas those two times on a football field. I have often seen outdoor cats running around there, also people walk their dogs. Number two. Avoid direct contact with other animals outdoors. For example, don't let your cat come into contact with outdoor cats, dogs and other pets. So, keep a safe distance to them. Not only because of parasites, but also for the safety of your own cat. Wild animals should be avoided for the same reasons. If you pay attention to these rules, you will have little to none problems with fleas. When my cats had two times flea problems, I didn't use any chemicals. I bought a flea comb and I combed the cats every day and got rid of the fleas. You really have to be careful doing that. 
don't underestimate the fleas. The little buggers are really fast and can jump far. As soon as I get a flea on the comb, I immediately squash it with the fingers. It's not that great, but attempts with a tissue or similar have always failed. In my experience, fleas prefer to sit on the head, neck, back and side areas of the body. Sometimes at the base of the tail as well. I have never found anything on legs or the belly. Nevertheless, you should check everything, of course. I also vacuumed all the cat's sleeping areas, couches, etc. every day. The first time it took about two months until the fleas were completely gone. However, it was never a large infestation. It was just that I found a flea here and there. I have to say that the first time I noticed the infestation a little too late and therefore they could already multiply. The second time I have immediately checked the cats after the first symptoms and got rid of the fleas in just a few days. Symptoms are, for example, repeated scratching. Sometimes cats also suddenly jump up and look around as if somebody has stung them. This is a very clear sign and then I check immediately. Treatment of mites Against mites I use as a preventative coconut oil. I use that to clean the ears of my cats once a week anyway. Also in case of an infestation, coconut oil helps well. After a few days of treatment the mites are gone if you start in time with the treatment. Mites suffocate in the coconut oil. The oil also calms down the irritated skin. If you wait too long with the treatment, an ear infection can develop. Then you have to go to the vet and get stronger medication for that. However, my cats never had that problem. Coconut oil was always enough for them. I already made a tutorial about how to clean cat ears and how to train cats to get used to that. You can find the link in the pinned comment. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a thumbs up and a comment. You can also ask questions and I will help. Information about my cats and my Instagram page can be found in the video description.